Oh no. Well, hopefully it doesn't delete my file by accident. So, do excuse <clears throat> what I presume to be some etch-a-sketchy lag in this game. Um, the, uh... Oops, what a way to feed. <laughs> the emulation is not great. Um, however, this is a bomb hack of Mario, uh, Paper Mario to be a lot, a lot harder. I tried to do this last year. Um, I never finished one. And then two, um, I had to update my computer recently. Yada, yada, yada. Lost a lot of progress. A lot of yada. Had to re-download everything. And of course, my, uh, my save file wasn't there, it was a little heartbroken, but I was also kind of stuck on a particularly hard boss. So this is a good opportunity to try again. You'll occasionally see just some weird skipping from my testing, like just the game randomly freezing when you're just trying to jump on an enemy like normal. But, um, for the most part this is working fine, so I'm going to stick with it because it only really is a minor music compared to it. Major headache. It's also just the emulator. Um, they suggest you use uh, BizHawk, EmuHawk, and uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> this emulator is not the best. I prefer Project 64. Uh, sure. um, but that's just my preference. Infamously, in this hack, you can talk to this toad, um, and he'll offer you some uh, mysterious tape, which lets you skip the whole intro segment of this game. You just, you just wake up here. No need to, uh, <laughs> play the other parts. What upset you right now that the whole screen is not being used like it was in the intro cutscene, but we'll see where it goes before I start messing with the screen size again. Because I worked on it quite a bit before settling on this. This might just be like a <clears throat> an intro scene thing. Um, if you're not familiar with Paper Mario, you might notice the text goes incredibly fast. Paper Mario is super friendly to new players who want to learn how to play the game as fast as possible. So if you want to skip through text, you literally just hold the B button. You don't have to spam the A button to go stop talking, stop talking. Instead, you just hold B and it, uh does the rest of the work for you. Never again will you have to read ever again. It's quite beautiful, really. Um. <laughs> but yeah, you'll have to take it from me. I guess this is how it's going to look inside houses and whatnot. This black border. Let's see how it looks outside. Now. If the blackboard remains to be bad, I'll, uh, <coughs> I'll fix it in just a minute. That's a lot of... Yeah, let's fix that real quick. Um, let's see. Master Quest. Transform. Transformation. Let's make this more like... Really good guess. Uh, we'll go with that. Oh my. 
Paper Mario. Getting a little greedy with the screen, aren't you? With my poor head get, having to get squished. Learning the whole movie magic of this. My big old can of game fuel wasn't actually edited in the photo. I just... Use the movie magic ruining moment here. Up. No, grab this. Grab these. No. No, where's my other thing? Ugh. To the action! Uh, actually, I don't think I need to talk to this guy. I think I just need to. Yeah, let me out. And then, and then. Oh no, you do, you do talk to these lovely things here first. My bad. My bad. I've only watched the speedrun of this game 10 bajillion times. No big deal, no big deal. And so then he's like, oh, man. yeah, whatever. Leave, kid. I thought you went to Gramps first, but. You know. My memory's fading. Fading fast. Text normally goes. Ooh, I top I snipped a little too much off the top. Let's <laughs> if you've played this game, you know how this goes. Um, so the main story is not affected. What is affected is enemy strength, enemy formations, bosses. Bosses are going to be wildly different than uh, what you remember. And, um... Anything else? Oh, there's new areas and, uh... Re, uh, <laughs> rematches with the said bosses. You know, I think I still took too much off the top. Portion things again. There we go. Beautiful. Hammer's always in this bush. Alright, I promise I will not touch the proportions anymore. I will never touch the proportions anymore. He said the devil's grin before I walk in the eyes of her. And giving her wet, passion kiss. Uh, also something you do differently. Um, normally you do not have the star charm at this point. Uh, which would let you... Um, it would let you perform action commands. But it, it, you, you can't, you usually can't do it until after you win the king. Um, in Master Quest they said just go ahead and have fun. 
If you're familiar with T2ID and not so much Paper Mario, T2ID lets you counter moves Paper Mario does not. Um, it makes this Paper Mario way harder than the Thousand Year Door. Um, the Thousand Year Door, you can hide behind your buddy, you can counter enemy moves. Um, I can literally beat any boss as level one in TTYD just because I know how to counter. Versus this game, um, you can skillfully manipulate items to maybe beat Bowser at level one, but it it's it is by no means an easy ride doing that. Um, nor is it easy getting there. CTYD, you can have a glitch fest of heaven. With this game, the, the glitches are a little more subtle or skill based. Um, did you ign notice I ignore most enemies? These enemy formations are ridiculous. More, and more often than not, not worth the hassle of taking on. So I won't. <laughs> as simple as that. Other thing, if you're not familiar with Paper Mario, um, you notice me spin and jump a lot. Um, it's the fastest way to move. Uh, the meme generally is after Koopa's Fortress, um, there's a store that pops up. Um, and you can give, you can have a chance for speedy spin, which makes you spin even faster and farther. Um, but it's like basically a two-thirds chance you won't get it or something like that. I, I forget the odds, but regardless, you'll spend like 20, 30 minutes in the first chapter of the game just to find out, oh, you didn't get speedy spin first try, start over. Um... Many, many speedrunners hate the game just because they, they ha there's no way to manipulate speedy spin to always be there. Um, now, you can, like, refresh the store, but it takes a lot of time, and time isn't something you have at a speedrun. And with all the other rush-based things in this game, they, uh, they generally don't have the patience for it. And that's why a lot of people don't like run Paper Mario. It's just, there will be one or two tricks that could eat up way too much time, and people who play it really, really got the best luck in the runs. They didn't, like, put up with any bad luck. And, um, uh, and so, they just have a good run because of it. But, I mean, that's... It's literally a grind in the sense of you have to play well, but you also just get lucky on X, Y, Z things. Oh, I try to counter because I'm an idiot. Um, yeah. A lot of... Oh, some funny stuff about people. I enjoy the game, though. Uh, I'm not saying it's bad, I'm just saying if you're looking into speedrunning, you might have a bad time Look elsewhere from Padre. Um, this game starts very simple and introduces you to Goombas, um, but as the game goes on, you find more and more lands and species in the Mushroom Kingdom. And, uh, I forgot to put on the Super Jump thingy. Hello. Point being, um... Where was I? Uh, point being, at first this seems like another bland Mario RPG, but as you dig deeper and deeper, it gets more and more interesting and exciting. Particularly 
like the Haunted Mansion level because it's a bait and switch. Oops. Should put on badges. Um, once you get, it, it's such a bait and switch of the story, and uh, I'll be excited to hang out with this once we get there. I believe the blue one has one more health than the other. You know what, all things considered, 15 minutes in, um, and my stream looks good, pretty happy. Uh, let me, uh, this. Put on badges. I wish I could make this game look crisper, um, but that's just how emulation be. I can insert um, texture packs to make it look cleaner uh, at the cost of there's enemies in this game that aren't in the base game, and the texture packs would not be based on this, so they're just random enemies that looked wrong. <laughs> There's a long build up for King Goomba. This is actually the first time uh, King Goomba is ever referenced, but you see it here and there uh, after this game. Which is funny. A lot of Paper Mario, or stuff came from Paper Mario that just isn't referenced after that. I wish I. I think I should have. Save the fire flower for this fight. Notice Goomba King is way stronger than he normally is. Doing three damage on blocks instead of uh, whatever he normally is. I think he only does one, honestly. I think he only normally does one damage. I'm gonna eat a big old nut. Put a big old nut in my mouth. Oh, dude, on me! What's popping, my dude? How are you doing, my friend, my pal, my good old chum? You caught me just in time to watch me put a big nut in my mouth. How was your stream? You're sleepy! Dude. It's not your bedtime. Wake up. Wake up, what did you play, man? <laughs> Thanks for the good luck. We, uh, we just got past, uh, past prologue, so, uh, you know, we're just getting to the good stuff. Splatoon. <laughs> Splatoon can be fun at times. At other times, you're saying, I wish everyone would get off their McDonald's Wi-Fi and play the game. Uh. <laughs> All right, Omni. You uh, you have a nice night, man. Thanks for uh, 
Thanks for the raid. Thanks for hanging out. I'll talk to you later. We need to uh, race the randomizer. <laughs> Friends? <laughs> yeah, you know, that's a good question, Cuz. Are you paying for my gas? <laughs> Ugh. I, uh, I still think about that morning sometimes, Ko, driving you to the airport. You were snoring halfway through your sentences. <laughs> that was... amusing. It was very amusing. Ko, have you played much of Paper Mario? I know you're an RPG fanatic with uh, Kingdom Hearts. And so you're probably cringing at me and just, you know, blazing through all this dialogue. <laughs> I'm just a really fast reader. We got Ninja Turtles. Something, something, dark side, something, something, scary Bowser, something, something. Let's <laughs> check it. You've never touched any of these games. That's crazy. Um. Well, short story, long story short, uh, you were just having cake at Peach's house again, and Bowser actually kicked your ass. Um, so now you've got to find a way to kick his ass. Uh, by collecting all seven power stars or something. And then I'm playing Master Quest, which is uh, a fan-made hard mode of this game. Um, who doesn't skip dialogue in RPGs? I mean, people love the humor in this game and whatnot, but, uh... I, I mean, I've, I, I played this back when I was in elementary school, so it's kind of drilled in my head. Um, something else that makes this game unique is the badge system. You saw me just put on a badge now, but it gives me, like, different moves and whatnot, so I can, um, make Mario as unique as I would like. You'll also see me spin and hop a lot. It's my uh, fastest movement option, unfortunately. <laughs> um, but yeah, no. Oh, and the other thing that makes this game unique is that it um, it deals in really small numbers. You do like two and three damage instead of. You know, 50,000 damage, or 250 damage. Okay. Otherwise, you know, it's basic RPG stuff. Oh, your partner's also basic RPG <laughs> He attacks, but he has no help. So he's, he's not taking anything for you. But that's the uh, general synopsis of this game. That can get good some. say this music uh, is very nostalgic for me. <laughs> oh, yes, I should have mentioned Bowser took Peach into space, but, um, you know, that's normal. I normally take women into space when I try to impress them too. song, it's a little motif, and uh, they all play the moment they walk into the room, like it's a wrestling match. Oh, 
This is Twink. Uh, in short, mailman between Peach and Mario. Not that it does anything. <laughs> but, you know. Cute. Oh. Oh! Is that my speedy spin badge? Bruh. Give me that speedy spin. The mailman, you say? Yeah. Father of my children. But also delivers my package. You know what? Somehow that sentence sounded the same. Yeah. Normally, Twink brings you the, the lucky charm right now so you can perform action commands, but in the mas in this Master Quest version, he, um, you already get it at the start of the game, so instead he gives you a speed I think this guy only has six health. This is Kamek. This old Koopa must be going senile if he thinks he can take us on. I mean, he's even as strong as a normal magic Koopa. Thanks to how old he is. There might be something else too. He looks like just skip lunch. Whatever the case, he has low HP compared to others in his class, so we should be grateful. Oh! Oh! Oh, is that what we're doing? We're just summoning the gosh darn heavens now. I went from... That still killed me! <laughs> okay. Well, apparently be prepared for meteorites to the back of the head. Jesus Christ. You know, just have to start all the way back here, right? I feel so stupid for I was thinking to myself that like, oh, you know, he wouldn't do it twice. There's no way that guy would hit me twice with a big fat meteor to the back of the head. I love whatever his other attack is. Nah, nah, they just hate me. I guess no mercy this time, though. It's so funny, too, because freaking Goomba was like, yeah, this guy's old. There's, there's no way you'd lose to him. time to get back to this one fight. <laughs> I could also use save states, but I'm not that kind of guy. I beat Elden Ring. I, I, I'm sure I'm fine. Right? There's no way this could be harder, right? Looks at camera. You had, what, nine health last time? Oh, you had like 15. Damn. Okay. We get it. You're really tough and cool and strong, Magic Koopa. You don't have to keep destroying my... Captain... Knuckles. Oh my lord. This is 
going forward. I'm having to eat every shroom I find just to defeat one magic. else they did in this game, uh, this ROM hack rather, is they um, added badges, took away badges, and rebalanced badges because some badges are just stupid the amount of cost they are for nothing. So Speedy Spin usually takes two for some reason, two badge points, and uh, they were like, nah, you, you can just have Speedy Spin because it's so dang convenient. need to heal after fighting one magic Koopa. Yikes, my dude. But yeah, Code, I, I would suggest if you not play these, playing Paper Mario. Um, TTYD is a little easy compared to this game. Um, because you can counter and your teammates have health and yada yada. Um, of course, if you if you don't mind a chill, easy game, then like, go ahead and play, play the thousand people. But this game presents a lot of fun and challenge that the other doesn't. This team decided that Mario is not a good listener, but for whatever reason in the world of Paper Mario, uh, <laughs> Mario falls asleep anytime someone starts monologuing. I kind of like these, uh, these dark toads. I wish they were canon, or they did anything else with this idea. Other than make it, oh no, it's just some Ninja Turtles in disguise. Uh, actually, I want to save now. So I don't have to do that again. Also, if you've never played this game, if you wait on this screen for a short minute, you get some secret music. Right? There it is. Just, you know, cute classic Mario coming out of a toy box music. Can I do anything in here? No, I can't. It's too tall. There's just a reason to come back later. Okay. I'm playing! Oh gosh, I don't care about this attack. Um, as you see, I'm avoiding enemies. If I fight these enemies, I'll max level very fast because the formations are huge. Well, not. Like, I'm talking four enemies in every formation. Don't keep you a fan. Oh! Oh, also, there's new ones. Like this. Big, big Roomba. You know, just a normal big Roomba. Normal thing you see in a basic room. I don't know how much he has. How he has if he can take a super jump. Like that. You know, I'm gonna find out. He's dying. And this guy takes two hits. The only thing I, I, I wish they had added to this master quest is the ability for teammates to use items. Or the farm specifically. Most users. 
Do you think the turtles just don't know how to jump? Or or that uh, Bowser put a law out saying, If thine jump, thine will be abolished from thine Koopa kingdom. Because I'd like to believe uh, Bowser had a say in why the Koopas can't jump. Because he still jumps. possibly help you right now. I can only afford one. This economy is brutal. Uh, so you're meant realistically to help all these people out and be a good Samaritan. But there is nothing, and I mean nothing, rewarding you for helping me throw this out. So you can just give this dude a finger and pass out over here. You're really just here to help this Koopa. Uh, because he'd be your buddy. And his only characteristic about him, outside of being a Koopa, is his red bandana and blue shoes. Um, which is funny because there's a blue shell um, Koopa in New Super Mario Bros. And you can wear their shells and speed around the levels like a lunatic. Alright. He's ready for Fave Play Five Card Monty. I have the advantage of if I miss where it goes though, I can look at stream. Which is cheating. But I you know, who's never cheated in their life before? Beautiful. Don't even have to cheat. I'm a master. I'm not even sure if it went here or the other tree because it moved in a way that I didn't perceive to be left or right. I guessed right though, so. I guess. I win. <laughs> These fuzzies as a kid freaked me out legitimately. Were like, I would not be able to, to sleep at night if I had, if I like played this game too close together. The way they move, because they're like two layers, right? Of, of independent movement, but they're not. It looks like they should be. And... Uh, I don't know, they just gross me out. They just gross me out the way they just... Uh, and they've got, like, vampire... sucking ability, but then at the same time they, they really just... have these weird square teeth. I don't know. How do you suck with square teeth? I've been asking my wife how to do <laughs> but, um, uh, oh, I guess I can't spin this or shake these bushes. You get Koopa Troopa, though, mostly because you can do this. This is his only redeeming quality, and you'll never use him after needing him for that. Because all of your following partners will be ten times better. Things way cooler than he does. But you know, he's got his moment in the sunlight. Limelight. Uh, I believe there is Google Leaves here. I'll see if he later. I am wrong. Is it here? Is it stupid? Is it shaking? 
No. Maybe I'm thinking of uh, TTYD too much. I don't know what they say though. No. I think from here, there's the TV if I need it. The only thing that uh, we really work on. Ooh, dry Shroom Height? Fringe. <laughs> dry Shroom Bio. Um, the only thing we have to worry about here is just getting to the castle for the game. Fun fun. I'm trying to get through this game as fast as possible, too. Um, just because I know it back and forth, and I really want to get to the bosses that actually kick your ass as opposed to walking through the same dungeons over and over again. Um, which is a silly way to be, of course. But... Um, but, I mean, I feel like the same way about games like Dark Souls, too. Where it's like, yeah, there's cute little areas where, um, you can walk through and explore the world, but I'm so much more there for the boss fights, but I just have the boss fight. That's just me. I know that's not everyone. Most people enjoy the adventure that gets them to the boss fight as well. I like sitting at a hard boss fight that seems literally impossible and just toughing it out for minutes on end. To me, that's fun. To me, overcoming a great wall that, like, to everyone else seems impossible, getting over it, is, is just really satisfying to me. I, um... There was parts of Elden Ring where I didn't realize I wasn't where I was supposed to be, or that I was really meant just to run past this boss. And I, I grinded my teeth, and I would fight the boss until I perfected it him, because he was too, he was one-shotting me. And I would be like, nope, I'm just gonna learn how to beat him without ever getting hit. And I did it, and it'd be like, awesome. And then I'd realize, oh, everyone else is, you know, not done this. Not even engaged. For me, those impossible boss fights are what I'm doing. Oh! There is the white ninja Koopa. Just hanging out back there, no big deal. That doesn't seem sus at all. Does he get mad for me blocking? Oh, he does. Oh no, you're gonna blow up now, though. Ow! My poor little face. Um... This game, this part, this dungeon, this early dungeon teaches you a lot about enemies who have, you know, this weakness and that weakness. Defense and no defense. Blow up in your face and don't blow up in your face. It's really trying to drive home that, like, you will need certain things for certain people. You can't just stomp on everything. Very like design letter one sort of stuff too. I'm speaking so factual about the game today, uh, as opposed to like just hanging loose. I'm sure most of you have seen this game, but I enjoy feeling like the uh, tour guide as well. There's a way to find the chain. Yeah, this will be funny. <laughs> this is my favorite thing to do in TTYD too. Is why are they immune? They're supposed to explode. Yeah. 
straight up sticks his tongue out like, man, you really chose dirt today, didn't you? Hilarious. I've seen people jump climb this chain, but I don't really know exactly how to do that, nor do I intend to waste everyone's time watching me attempt to climb a chain. You also want to get uh, through this dungeon because you get bomb that bomb <laughs> bomb that um, bomb. Oh shoot! Is her name bomb Bata or Bombita? Bomb boom bim bim bomb bim bomb. There's that Indian dish that's like boom bomb bay or something like that. Boom bomb bit. That's what it is. Boom bomb bit. And people always get a big wave over uh, boom bomb bit. Oh, well, that's not very helpful. I don't know anything about the ninjas. I'm really hoping you would uh, maybe, maybe stop the ninjas. She's going for the top rope! trying to fight this guy. Please don't kill me. Like, when does your defense run out, dude? Look at this. He's been having defense for 30 turns now. All I can do is slowly hammer him in the dick. in this room too, it's not like I can leave. Oh, I may be dead in the water right here. Oh! Okay, I literally can't even get that. Please just fall the water. Oh! That was so lucky. 
that's it, there's a fourth one. Uh... Things can only get you down to one health, so it's safe to play jump rope with them. But it's still scary. And it's literally just for coins. But I have probably zero monies. Eventually the hitbox stops existing, so you can win. You know, it's just a little bit of for show sort of thing, but it still feels cool to win at jump rope. Um, I think this next room is the trap room, and I can feel at the bottom. So, it might be okay just to go ahead and do this. Yeah, okay. Would really stink to die right now. Oh no, there's a safe box behind. Alright, we're all good. We'll go back here and save right here. Alright. So if we lose this upcoming fight, which I doubt it, but just in case. a trot. You know, I think I at least have Koopa out there, so it was weird to see Goomba, uh, Goombario fall to his demise. character in the whole game. IMO. Because she's a flippin' bomb. She's a big old explosive. She, she goes da boom, da boom, da boom. Like it when the booty goes. Like it when the booty goes. Da down, da down, da down. It only hits one person at a time, so having her out right now is 
After one basic fight, we need to go heal already. This game um, encourages you greatly to start using more and more um, items. Start using fire flowers and power blocks and sleepy sheepies and, and, and the sword. Get up the stairs! Oh, Mario can't get it up anymore. Um, wait, I think we need to go get a uh, key from behind the explosive wall. Why didn't that explosion hit the people? Uh, he's in the cage with me! Oh my lord, get him out! Actual fear. I'm not locked in here with you. You're locked in here with me. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> you think you're all that, Mr. Gonzalez? But the great Garzanzo being will be taken down once he's in a hell in a cell match. Random Koopa Troopa versus the great Gonzalo or something. Mario moves. Uh, I think I should do this. I think I should body slam the bomb and hit it with a hammer before I start playing footsie with Koopa. Oh, dang. option is to let Bombat take the hit and explode in midair than it is to, uh, let that on the I didn't... Ref! <laughs> Get the referee out of here. There's not too many hard fights until the game is I don't think there's even any required fights outside of the Koopa for uh, another team. The band would help be, you know, helpful. Power block. That's useful. That's actually really useful. So something a lot of speedrunners like to do in this section. It's like they like to maneuver around this wall by just sort of jumping around it. But I, I'm not so bad. So, uh, sorry to disappoint anyone interested in seeing me slowly jump around a wall, fail, and then have to walk back for a few minutes. But, you know, I'm the du fromage, as they say. Koopa is just stuck walking in place here until the, the stairs fall. As, you know, we normally are. So 
the funny thing, they forgot to take out this cracked wall texture when this wall was exploded. But it's so hard to see through the cage and against a wall texture already that it doesn't matter. But you walk right through it. Uh, very small detail, easy to miss. But, <clears throat> to the key of eye. Very funny. Is king of eye really the term I wanted to use? Explode from that hole! I'm an idiot. Oh man! Please get health. Just uh, very minimal health. I have nothing to give. What could possibly go wrong? Okay. Koopa Troopas summon their cannons. I summon cannon. These cannons are way more powerful than uh, base games. Like, yeah. I. Ooh. That hurts a bit. I tried to spin past them and get to that save block. But, uh. It was all in vain. So now you get to watch me take the terrible trek back. Oh, you know what? I should go bolt that wall. And I should go. Did I get this key already on the save? Might be wondering, Metal, where is your consistent, you know, um, stream schedule? Where is your. Why aren't you online every night? I see you on Discord every night, and then I'm like, why don't you see me on Discord every night? You stalker. <laughs> but outside of that, um. Yeah, no, I. I am. Not so much busy necessarily every night as I am. With friends, family. Um, and it, between that and like 
at least for me, this is a little bit stressful. Um, I'm not always in the <laughs> Chest pains! Uh, you know, wanting to spend time with friends, family, whatnot, whatnot. You know, just like there's a lot of reasons for me. I'm actually going to be straight every night. Um, I'm going to turn my screen on. Consistent. Um, I had a girlfriend up until uh, yesterday, really. Which is a whole nother spiel. <clears throat> Do without you will. You can either say, oh, he's single again, or you can say, alright, he's single again. You know. Oh, bugger. The point of view is everything, for sure. She blows up so fast. Um, if you're a player of the Paper Mario, I've never seen her blow up that fast. You can hit Z down again after hitting it the first time, and she'll blow up right away. Okay. I'm sure you knew that as a bigger Paper Mario fan than me. I'm watching it on Concept of man desperately reading the laundry. There's no way. I am not a good at this hammer, so that's always scary. Next 
10 minutes to me just trying to walk past these dorks. I don't know if it's gonna be 10 minutes, but... I don't know if I need this many people to feel I can't think of anything else I would need my, my next one. I swear I blocked that. I swear! I curse! My mother washes my mouth out with soap and I still use the, 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 the F word. French! Oh, I certainly have too much of the side of the screens coming up. Maybe I should have leveled up more. There's a heel on the other side of the bridge. We just have to go, then. <laughs> we can get to it. We just have to run. How close am I to level up for this to not be an issue? It's not letting me block, I swear. I'm hitting the button, I'm shaking the controller, I'm putting my credit card information in, I'm uh, crying to the, the gods. I'm saying, please subscribe with your Twitch Prime subscription, they're still saying. Nah, you, you won't die. Oh my gosh. That's not how that's supposed to go, but... At least it gives me the opportunity to run away! Oh my lord. Alright! Here we are. A fight that matters. Wait, did it hit? It totally hit a stupid bullet bill instead of uh, a cannon. I've got an idea, I've got an idea to handle all this, but it's so not great. Oh, I didn't even do damage! Literally didn't even do damage. I'm doomed. I think I have to just take these guys to the face. I don't see how else I get out of Damage? No. Good. 
super jump cage. What? It's not enough though. Fire flower. Does not hit, right? First bomb hit a frickin' bullet though instead of Please hit the actual cannon. I think you still hit a, a frickin' bullet bill! Jump only did one damage. Hmm. Can't run away. I'm actually a little stunned here. Best thing to do is just soft reset here. Let's check out our badges. Maybe maybe I'm missing something. I want to charge my smash attack for one, but that's not gonna do any good. Flower power, 
I should have been the cheapest way possible. Getting a little more flower power. I kinda hate that that's the case, but hey. What are you gonna do? I wanna know why my my first strike bomb's not working. And like I I don't know if it's easy to see, but it quite literally summons a bomb to be in the way. Ten times easier when I just went ahead and <laughs> did the thing. Unfortunately, I had to use my makeup. I don't know if the items I have maybe good enough to fight the the ninja turtle. To it. You know, we're very under leveled too. Certainly not helping I'm okay with being under level. It's not so okay with being under items. But hey, we came to play, eh? Hey, yo, it's a turtle! change my badges. I really don't want to go all the way back to Koopa Village for the store. Not that it's the worst trek in the world, but rather... It's a long trek. in this book game either. So, it's either get more items or um, divide the perfect stretch. Or level up 
Technical grind for it. more damage to do twice. Actually, the bomb is even more worth it. Intro fight, I'm out of fire fire. Yeah, I don't have to go back to the store. Play with the hammer. <laughs> okay, that wasn't meant to work, but I'm quiet, kind of, kind of quiet, dude. I actually think just bombing the heck out of him is going to be the best choice. Uh, badges. I don't even care about the hammer throwing thing. Alright. I think, um, I think we have a better chance if we just shoot him. Walking on screen was just a little fake. You know, it's not a big deal. Why is this game Dennis Hopper? I'll try more health uh, with that HP up badge. If that doesn't work at that point, the only thing I can do is either grind or, or get items for healing, which blows. I think that's my only options at this point. Because realistically, I just want to blow up a lot. I want to blow up three times. 
after that I can sleepy sheep and fire flower and Assuming it still works in the, the day it does initially, with it knocking them down in one explosion. If it doesn't work that way, I'm wildly miscalculating due to lack of information. But, you know, I'd like to pretend that's not the case. Change that mechanic of this boss, though, right? That would be the actual first. all go Extra defense. <laughs> How much more help can these guys possibly have? How much more? At this point, just managing a room for the turtles. I'm telling you, the Shredder had the right idea. Turn them all into turtle suit. Okay. 
Okay, that means these other two should die this turn too. Right? Unless one of them just has extra health for no reason. Thank goodness. Oh, I'm so glad I didn't try to grind it out first instead. Chapter one, baby! Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Never have to deal with that again. <laughs> I will never be un under leveled for the rest of the run ever again. Right? Whoa. Is it meant to be that way? Normally this is a, like a, just a blank card with the, the star guy. It's not normally... It also usually spins in place. Maybe it's preventative box things. Because it's a common glitch in Paper Mario. Spin around with that spinning hitbox. To, to make all sorts of doo-doo happen. one down. Easy peasy. Uh, that Koopa, the cannon and the Koopa fight both were challenging in their own respect. I had to, uh, play around with badges and whatnot to figure out how I was gonna get from point A to point B, but at the end of the day, way more fun to, to fight them that way than to just level up and become an omniscient god of power. Peach is reading Bowser's diary real fast. It's interesting the star always hides. I like to pretend that the star is really just Peach's imaginary friend. Like she's gone crazy, locked up in the castle. And she's like, oh, Twink told me to go outside of my room. Oh no. Peach, you can't stop blaming everything on your imaginary friends. But if he's real, he's real. Hey, Weebly. What's poppin'? This game? Weebly, it's not been years. Or we've been chatting in Discord since... I don't know. A month or two? Have you been chatting for two months now? Point being, uh, I'm playing Master Quest. What's up with you, girl? Up to what's poppin' gamer. How is the week? Also, I love that it showed me your first time chatter. It's like um the radio show. First time caller, first time caller. Oh, I can change my badges. Get this duty badge off. 
But you, uh, you missed the crazy fight with the boots. The boots are on the loops. I just finished chapter one. I think I'm at least going to start chapter two. Um, chapter two is probably my, my like, love-hate letter. Chapter two is where I remember spending the most time as a kid because I got lost in the desert. <clears throat> Not exactly like the reason why you want to remember something though. Right? It's like, oh yeah, I remember this McDonald's because, you know, I got punched in the face here. Like, oh, I don't know why you want to remember, remember this McDonald's or whatever. Whatever place it may be. So. There's just like no enemies here. Oh, it's. This dork is the best. I love his theme the most. Whether or not he's a good fighter or not. You know. I also like that you can tell him, oh, who are you again? I think it's the best. The interaction you can have with any character is... Am I supposed to know who you are? That was the most disrespectful way to just kill a man. I can't believe it's making me finish the rest of the fight, too. That's really funny. His Koopa Troopa pals were more of a substantial enemy than he was. You don't even get anything. He's just dead. You can bomb his body, though. Just shove a whole bomb up his butt. I don't care. He's dead. Mario! Coming in from with the top rope. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> I just like, <laughs> at this point, I want Mario to just not remember who anyone is. Nap time in the Mushroom Kingdom. Um, actually, what's, what items do we have in this bad shop? Yeah, I'm gonna come in here. Let me in. True stomp. Change even if it's transparent. Spin smash. Dodge masters. All those badges are kind of cringe, though. Cringe badge alert. How many star pieces do I have? I have seven. That's useless. Cool. There's some, some out of pack uh, star pieces in the loop. Bad dialogue alert. 
I think I'll try to fight the... I don't really have what I need to fight the blooper. I think I'm just gonna go straight there. Just gonna go straight to chapter 2. Piggies. Piggies, piggies. Oh, I need to go blow up the tracks. As any good Samaritan would, I'm gonna go put a bomb on the train tracks. That's the Uwu, the Chu Boo train with me. Chu Boo! <laughs> 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 oh. I have um, a different demeanor about me right now because uh, I know my boss listens to my streams now. I have like a little bit of like, if I say Chew Woo, I'm not gonna hear Chew Woo at work tomorrow. If I say that, will I hear about it at work tomorrow? Funny, funny stuff. I hope the. I haven't gotten like any comments on my play video. I hope the mix is alright. Being bombarded with all sounds at appropriate levels. I'll have to listen to my stream later and find out the hard way, I suppose. <laughs> I know my streams tend to run a little bit more quiet than other streams. I'm not quite sure why that is. Um, I tried turning everything on loud and blasting, but it um, doesn't seem to make it loud. I don't want to fight the three red Goombas. I've got an idea for a new. Let's just make them all red. Keep your homeless Goombas out of here. I got a tiny ass. I'm rolling around in the freaking sunburnt dirt all day. Get some sunscreen and a bag. Has anyone ever taken a bath in scrambled eggs? I heard that's supposed to be good for you. But I don't know for what specifically. So um Oh yeah. All I have with me is an egg! <laughs> I should not have come here. Every time you want to get a, a Wampa Bump, you have to fight this guy. You can't just take a Wampa Bump. And he does damage. He, he really do be doing damage, though. I don't know what else to do here, other than heal some more. But I want the Wampa Bump! Oh, that heals seven? Okay, well... Eat egg! Eat egg! Live! Egg nutrients! Die from that. Oh no, okay, well. Okay. You wouldn't be weak to this, would you? I don't think you would. Live! Or die! One of us lives or dies. <laughs> I was the one who died. Might have forgotten this was a fight. You know, mistakes were made. It's 
fine. My biggest worry is that my save file isn't gonna actually save. If that's the case, I'm not sure. Mario be so careless. How true menace to society Mario is. Just... You know, I thought I was gonna quit after I was done with Paper Mario. can't first strike me. I don't know how much health he has. So that's gonna be step one of figuring this guy out. There's how much health do you have? I legitimately think I can do this. Well, I think the goal for the rest of the stream is just beating this Wumpa. Wumpa. Unfortunately, I have to talk to Koopa Troop every time. I forgot my egg! You know what, if I'm going all the way back down to my full save, so I'll have to keep talking to Paratroopa for the first, not so first time. Already, go follow her on Twitch. If you're not following me, you should follow me on Twitch too, but that's. <laughs> that's a different Milo in the A hustle drink? I'm not using Okay. 
not exactly the dream. this time. Oh, yeah, baby! What was I even worried about? Oh. Oh, that's actually amazing. I'm gonna take the slide of victory. The slide of victory, baby! I think it was way more big a deal than it is. But I mean, you saw what that man did to me. Oh yeah, just go hide inside the wall. That's normal. That's normal thing. Goombas do. Gosh diggity, demons, my dudes. Cheating live on Twitch. Woo! All right. Well. I think that's a good place to stop. We defeated our one true enemy, <laughs> the Wumple Wump there. So, um. What's this girl's name again? Sarah Sterlanka. We're gonna, we're gonna go raid my friend Sarah Sterlanka. Woo! Uh, she's playing Mario 64. She's a bit of a speedrunner, a bit of a comedian. Truly. Um, but thank you all. And remember, you can make America metal again. 